Thanks for being with us tonight. This couple in Jefferson County fought off a bear and her cub and broke into their home last night. Wildlife officers found and euthanized the bear. The cub is still out there. Our Matt Croshell in Pine tonight with our top story. And Matt, this couple really was fighting just to survive. You know, the woman tells me the baseball bat actually had her name engraved on it. She got it as a retirement gift. She used that to fight back. I was so scared for his life, you have no idea. George Field never thought she'd end up doing battle with a bear inside her own home. When you're older, you wonder, what would I do in a bad situation? Now I know. Now I know what I'd do. And it was growling, I was, you know, growling. The whole house. <laughs> so between the two of us, we were having attitudes. The couple heard noises coming from their upstairs living room around 8.30. They went upstairs to figure out what was going on and came face to face with a bear and her cub eating a loaf of bread in the hallway. But she swatted him in the nose and she was down here, she was low. So when she swatted me, then I turned around and I punched her in the nose. You know, and from that point, you know, it started doing, you know, a little bit of a dance. She took some swipes here, swipe on my chest. The couple fought back as the bear continued swiping. He came up. I was right behind him. I just grabbed the bat, came up behind him. I missed the bear fight. And all I remember honestly seeing was this big brown blob in front of me, of which I empowered myself better than you guys could ever imagine. I don't think I've ever been that strong. And I whacked that bear as hard as I could, both hands. You would have thought I was a Louisville slugger. I know she hit the bear at least three times. The bears finally bolted for the same screen door they had opened to get inside. Neighbors who shot this video say these bears have been spotted in the same area in trash cans during recent evenings. It's not clear if this is the same pair that got inside the home. It's personally my fault for having, you know, bird feeders and things of this nature, so I'm not really happy about it. But on the other hand, bears that do come into houses are in a situation of where, from what I understand, they make it a habit. And listen, right before we came on TV with you at 6 o'clock, we actually saw some surveillance video from their porch showing those bears getting in through the screen door. We'll have that for you coming up at 10 o'clock. What a remarkable story playing out here in Jefferson County. I'm Matt Croshill covering Colorado First. Yeah, sure is, Matt. Thank you.